Okay, so you're thinking about getting a, a bend pack lift or just a lift for your garage in general? That's good because honestly, for all that they really cost, I mean, it's they're great. They come in handy. Uh, so this is, I got a bend pack 10,000 pound lift. Uh, you can see right now my old raminators on there. So I'm just gonna real quickly go over like the, the price, uh, the company itself and the quality because if I could probably, if I would redo it, I'd probably go a different route. They're definitely a good lift for sure. They work good and everything and the company's good. But I'll go over first the pricing. This was $3,900 delivered to the door. So that's not too bad. Uh, versus like an Atlas, you can get them a 10,000 pound, I believe for 27 or 2,800, okay? So really the thousand dollar difference, like I wasn't too worried about it, but I'm gonna get more into that uh, towards the end there, because quality is kind of like the big point I'm trying to get at here. And the company itself, it's good. Uh, the salesman, really nice, really helpful. Like knew a lot and anytime I had a problem or they had but the shipping because you know all the COVID stuff it was really backed up and delayed but they're really good uh, and then when I did have a problem which I'm going to cover here like their support technical line is outsourced to India which I kind of I had a problem and I called them and it was some lady in India and I was I was trying to be nice I was like I understand and she obviously didn't know what she was talking about, which I knew that. She said, I have to consult the engineers. I was like, yeah, I know. That's kind of why I wanted to talk to them. So you kind of get stuck in the middle there. So I ended up, I did get a hold of someone directly. And I'll get more into that. So, and then this is getting quality because that's like kind of the, the big thing here. It's made in China. It, there's no difference between this lift and like an Atlas lift. None. I mean, the quality pretty much fucking sucks, really. It's not, I don't say it fucking sucks. It's made in China. And I'll go over, I'll take the camera off here and I'll show you exactly certain things that I mean. And, uh, so yeah, that's what I mean. Like for an Atlas, like my one guy, I know he has an Atlas lift. It holds his dually no problem. So for the $1,100 difference, I would have got an Atlas lift and then I would have took that $1,100 and got like a tire machine or a good welder or something. So if you have a garage where you just do some stuff, honestly, just like I said, take that $1,100 and buy yourself a good welder or torch set or uh, you know tire machine. You could buy anything else with that $1,100 because there's no need to get a bend pack. Like I've seen everybody on YouTube had them and then uh, you know they have a good name, but if you're not that worried about it, sure, get it, because it's just as good as anything else, you know. Uh, the directions were pretty good. I'll go over, or let me grab these that are sitting here real quick. So if you do get one of these lifts, for God's sakes, read from page one to like 100. Because when I first started, you got to do like the concrete. Like this has three and a half to four inch like hard concrete floors, which probably would have been good enough. But I cut it out and put six inches in there. And so I started in the book where it says about doing concrete, which is like page 30. And then I went from there on. And then I got to certain pages like assembling the post or something. I forget what it was, but it's like, you should have already did this. And like page five or something, it says, you pretty much got to assemble everything before you put the post up. <laughs> so like I said, read it from page one for God's sakes. And directions are not that good. So you like, you almost set both your posts up right where you want them, like on a sawhorse, like leaning. You gotta run all your cables, hydraulic lines, the top posts, which I'll get into that. You gotta, set, you gotta put all that together and then you set it up and then you drill your holes and put your anchors in. I mean, it would have been so much easier had I did it that way. These posts, they're not that hard to get up either. I actually just threw a line around the Dodge here and a rafter and pulled it right up. It was no problem. Uh, even, well, actually, that was for the top post. The posts, me, my nephew, we just put them right up. Not, not hard at all. Uh, okay, so let me pull the camera off here, and then I'll show you a couple things on quality real quick. So first of all, just disregard this because I needed to get this thing going, and I was, like, running out of time. I, I actually didn't have time to wire that up. So 
that is backwards. That's why I say read from direction one. That, because there's a micro switch over there, it's supposed to be over there. That doesn't really matter, but where your pulleys sit for like your cable, for your safety cable here, it, that does kind of matter. It's not bad. It's like you can do it backwards. It's fine. Like I have everything set up there, but it's close to hydraulic lines. You're not touching. You got room, but so that's what I mean. That, that bar has to be sitting a certain way. Yeah, I never finished anything. There's like no insulation. <laughs> it'll, it'll probably be this way forever, but <laughs> uh, the quality. See, this pump, it's on every single lift. They're all the same. Okay, there's no difference between this pump and any other pump. Uh, this is the main problem here. These base plates, they were completely bent and warped. So I'll try to put in some pictures here or towards the end and show you how bad they actually were. And I had to wait like days going back and forth to see if that's okay. Uh, they said it was, but even there, let me see if we can, if we can focus. Yeah, you can see how it's not sitting flat. I mean, it's holding the ram. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then right here. So when I drilled this hole, that was kind of my fault there. Like I said, you should have them sitting up here and using that as a guide. But when I was hammering, I, they say use like a rubber mallet. I left my big one at the other garage. So I was like, I backed the nut up, sitting up here, and I was hitting it in. And it actually completely smashed the top of the the anchor. And I was like, oh. I was like, I'll cut it off. And I just tried it with a hacksaw. I hacksawed right through this thing in, I bet you, two minutes. Which is like, you would think, that's three quarter. you think it would take all day with a hacksaw. Super soft metal, man. Like everything's soft metal on here. Okay, I forgot that the cover's on here. But these, uh, right now the ram, like if your hydraulic goes, this is a safety. So the whole thing's gonna be sitting on here. There's like a, a thing on the head that sits on here. Okay, these are cast. For God's sakes, you have a 7,000 pound truck sit on cast metal. Like <laughs> that is not good. That should be forged steel. And probably like the only other complaint, like up on top, there's two bolts. I can hold that top together. There's only two small bolts on either side. I would have, if I was designing it, I would have put some heavier stuff up there to keep the, you know, if this truck would come down, it would kind of pull that top in together. I would have put definitely heavier stuff up there for sure. But as far as like the kit, like the hydraulic lines, you get a good bit of stuff like, it's not bad. It's worth it. You know, if you want to get one, sure. It's, you're just paying an extra $1,100 for the name. Really, honestly, that's all you're doing. I would have took that $1,100 and just bought something else. That's just my opinion. Just throwing it out there. So, yeah. But either way, get yourself a lift. Come in handy. You know, they really do. It's it's worth it. They do offer financing there, too. I think it's, I think they have interest free. So, you know, if that's something you need. It's worth it. If you can pay it off in a year or something, you know what I mean? Just do it.